it's tea with tea quilts hi it's tea with tea quilts and it is wednesday june 26th it is 6 58 p.m central standard time so if you're watching this video at any other time just know that it is an upload and forgive my hair it's actually been time to wash my hair but i am trying to wait until i go on my trip next week So we will wait for people to get in today. I didn't actually schedule ahead of time for people to know that I was going to come on live. I just actually went live. So thank you all so much for coming into the chat room. And I'm going to see if I can get one more light right here. I actually got it on the floor. But I kind of moved my stuff around a little bit. Hold on. for coming in. I'm just getting adjusted here. So I had to take some of the light away from them and some of the camera away from the ceiling. So that's a little better. I still can't get this light to come on <laughs> because it became unplugged. <laughs> So there we go. Put my trash can back and my light kit. I got my light kit down on the floor. <laughs> so yes. Thank you all so much for coming. I'll do the shout outs. See my phone is here. Um, I did not come on last week because I couldn't talk and I had runny nose. <laughs> so I feel a little better. I'm still congested, got some form of laryngitis, but feel better. So I'm going to go ahead and do the shout outs. Got June Hansen here. Go ahead and do the shout outs. She says, hi, Miss T and everyone. Hi, June. We've got Yvonne 61. She says, hi, T. Hi, Yvonne. Got Tracy Davis says hello to everyone. June Billings is here saying hi, T and everyone. Nice to be here. How Tracy and June. And then we've got Kathy Kelly here saying hi, T. Trivia Henderson is here saying Good evening, everyone. And Kathy Kelly says to hi, everyone, as well. Joan Elkins is here saying hi, everyone. Erica Selman is here, says hi, T. Glad you're feeling better. So my voice isn't quite white, but if it goes out, we'll have to do something else. And I'm looking at my <laughs> laptop behind me because I put in... For it to load the comments on my video on the random comment picker and it hasn't done that and it's been sitting there for a while so we'll retry again um lc says hello to t and everyone from southern california remo js says good evening all from bowie maryland Rhonda barlow is here saying hello everyone and Diane 57 is here, says hi T, she's from Texas. Got Sonia Jones here, says hello T and everyone. Francesca Afino is here, she says hello everyone, she's from Missouri. And Diane says, what's up tonight? Not much. <laughs> Maxi Doodle says hi T. Janet Mackerel is here, she says hi everyone. And we've got Judy Judy here saying hello everyone, good to see T. So thank you so much. Again, I don't even know how long my voice is going to hold out. So 
Um, I don't know what's wrong with this thing that is not picking up the comments for me. <laughs> and then it went to a totally different site when I reloaded it, okay? <laughs> so... Control V, load comments. <clears throat> For some reason, it's not working right now. I need a fan to stay on me. <laughs> I changed my setup a little bit so I don't have my other fan right in front of me so I'm already sweating with all the lights <laughs> and my random comment picker it's not working I'm on the random comment picker site so let me go back and see if I can find another site so the reason why I'm doing this a lot of you all are trying to figure out why am I even on random comment picker on my last video I uploaded it was the AQS haul video I have um I'm just going to go to another site. Um, I did a, I have a, a wooden iron that I'm going to give out as a prize. So that's why I'm trying to get the random comment picker to load. And I didn't do it ahead of time because I thought it would be better to do it while everyone was on here. even though you can't see it. <laughs> it's telling me I've got 58 comments. Hmm. I don't know why it's <laughs> I'm on some site that's trying to get me to download something else so I may have to hold off on it or I'll just come back to it later I normally use random comment picker but for some reason it's not working today Let me go back to the video. Hmm. I'm gonna actually click it so that I can view the video on YouTube. Writing's not, not that easy, but Grammarly can help. This sentence, it. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. So let me see if this one works. Yeah, this one came up right away. So I'm going to go ahead and click the link. Of course, I put the <laughs> wooden iron in that special spot, right? And then I go looking for it like two minutes before I come on YouTube. And of course, it's not where I thought I put it. But <laughs> you will be getting this gift. I know I have it. I put it up so that I wouldn't forget it. And then I'm all, here it is. I really put it somewhere crazy. <laughs> I knew I left it in the white bag, but this is the prize that's being given out. So um, a, a few things I do wanna say. Um, I was asked, where do you get this from? And I put the card up before showing you where this came from. So this is the card. Uh, you can also call them and tell them that you want to get a wooden iron. They also have other things that they made to go with this as well. Like a, um, they have the awl, the awl and a seam ripper. 
so you can get that as well and they might have some other things that match with these as well this company is called sawyer creek artistry and they make wood turning products or wood products and the website is i put this all in the video but people are still asking me about it so i'm telling you right now so the website is sawyercreekartistry.com. So www.sawyercreekartistry.com. And again, here's the card one more time. And excuse my bad fingernails. I've been playing with colors. I've got a blue on one nail and a green on the other. So, so this is where you get it from. The guy, the, the husband makes them. It's a, a small business. And what they do is they take thin pieces of wood that they color and then they glue them all together and then they use once they're all glued together then they cut out shape so you can see all of the wood pieces are going through the actual product so this is the one that i have for the drawing so now i already have my comments up i'm gonna click pick the winner and there Anytime I have a contest and people put them or uh, comment more than one time, you're already disqualified because it's not fair to the people that just did their regular comment. So you also have to have I also have to have a comment that says I love color. So I'm going to go ahead and pick a winner. And the winner is Holly S. So Holly S, if you are watching this video you have until friday <laughs> to let me know that you uh your address you can email it to tquilts at tquilts.com so if i don't hear from you by friday then i will pick someone else i'm not gonna hold on to prizes real long i want to actually give prizes to my youtube people that actually watch me on a regular basis so You've got till Friday, so Saturday, then I'll pick somebody else if Holly doesn't respond by then. But congratulations, Holly, on your win. And I will be getting this mail just as soon as I get your mailing information. So again, contact me at tquilts at tquilts.com. So I know I've been real busy trying to get this program to work. So let me go back and see who else has come in. Um, Diane Ricks is here. She says, hello, everyone. Glad I caught you live today, T. Thank you, Diane. Um, Melinda Carroll is here. Says, hello, T and everyone. Dewan Hennis Kroger is here. Says, thanks for giving of yourself. I'm humbled. You're welcome. <laughs> Pat Moffitt says, hi, T and everyone. I will be in and out listening as much as I can tonight. Okay. <laughs> And we've got Peggy O'Connor here from St. Louis area. She says, hi, T and quilters. And Melinda Carroll is reminding everybody to hit the thumbs up. Thank you so much for the 12 of you that have already hit the thumbs up. We've got Deborah Richards is here. She says, hey, y'all. Deborah, I know you've been commenting on some uh, videos. I have not been online for a couple of reasons. So, or, or handling a whole lot. I've just go on at one time and try to handle like three or four pages of comments so uh beth dallas says hello t happy i could join your chat tonight love your shirt thank you so much it's a tijuana creation that you can also have i make these shirts and i do them for twenty dollars without the my website i just got the website on mine and i also got my name on my sleeve and then I also got my website stuff on the back. So that's just on my shirt. But I will make them custom for anybody in any state. So if you're interested in that, just let me know. Um, okay, while I was turning, I scrolled a little bit. <laughs> um... And people are talking about how pretty the wood is on the wooden iron. Deborah says that her video seems to be frozen. I'm looking okay on my um, 
phone screen and my recording screen. So maybe it's your system reboot, Deborah. Francesca says, just curious, does anyone live where there's a business designed to help a quilter's relative sell the quilter's quilt stuff? So many quilter things get dumped. I don't know anything about that. Most people I know, they, they use friends. Um, they have family contact a couple of quilting friends and then they can go through and decide how they want to do things from there. I know I had a friend that passed away four years ago. And that's what we did with her stuff. I actually went on, like for her sewing machines, I actually went on eBay and got the prices for the used machine prices. And then I gave them to the family. And then um, they sold the stuff. Or No, they really didn't sell it. They only sold the sewing machines. And then everything else, they kind of just donated to people that were in the guild. So we started out with people that knew her the closest. And then they donated because they weren't trying to make money off of the fabric and her supplies. They uh, sold the machines for like half of what they were selling for on eBay. So they really weren't in it for the sale. They wanted people that knew her to have her items. So it's differently for everybody. And Francesca is probably asking also because we've also had a quilter this weekend that had a quilter sale. And... She has a disease. I'm not going to put her name or, or what her disease is. And she's no longer able to quilt. And so she was doing her own quilter's garage sale kind of thing this past weekend. And it was kind of hard to attend. It's kind of hard to see somebody that's going through a loss of uh, not being able to do a, a craft that they love to do all their life. And then to watch them sell their stuff off was kind of hard for me. But she was also very grateful that the quilters that she knew showed up and bought some of her stuff so that her stuff would be in good hands with quilters that she knew would um, have good hands. She was also a long arm machine quilter. So she's had about four or five years up to the point where she finally has decided that she couldn't quilt anymore. So she said that she had to get over it. But I know it was still hard for her going through that again with the actual selling process so it is hard we got trey here she says hello t and t quilters hope everyone is well miss you guys hi trey welcome back eric oda is here hey and then eric is also saying the sawyer creek artistry they make good wood products thank you i think they do they are located in missouri like i said but Everything that I have bought from them has been very high quality. I bought one that was uh, blown glass from somebody in Missouri that was really nice. Missouri has a lot of crafters. We have a city called Branson, Missouri that a lot of people vacation to. So we have a lot of hand artists that are in that particular area, but they also are throughout the state. <clears throat> um... And Erica is saying congrats to Holly. That's nice. Thank you so much. Christine here with Cute Red Socks. That's hi, T. Nice to see you this week. Glad you are feeling better. Just barely. <laughs> and I still can't laugh because then it starts me coughing. Mm -hmm. So let me just make sure we got Sherry. Mercurio here is his first time here, referred by my friend Diane. Thank you so much, Sherry, for coming. And welcome to the live chat. If you got any questions quilt related, don't be afraid to pop them into the chat box. And you're in the correct spot because you've already chatted. A lot of people get the chat box mixed up with the comment box. So I can't see uh, comments that are posted on the video until, they, until the video is ended and uploaded. So thank you so much for coming. And hopefully you'll come back and visit with us again. So Tracy also is congratulating Holly. Um, got Beverly Simmons here. She says, wish you come on earlier bedtime for me. Laughing out loud, I like mugs better than t-shirts. Remember me? Same name. Yes, Beverly. Hi, are you? That's my family's name. <laughs> Cordelia Mawson is here. She says, hi, T. 
warm too warm to sew oh my goodness i'm never too warm to sew i have to figure it out <laughs> Deborah must be still having some issues with her system. Joyce Rockamore is here. She says, howdy, howdy, y'all. I'm assuming she's from Texas, maybe, or Tennessee. <laughs> um, K.L. Mueller is here. She says, hi, gang. This is Kelly. Trivia Henderson is here. Say, what's up, Eric? Uh, Laura Miller is here saying, it's nice to catch you live. Good to see you. Thank you so much. <laughs> and uh, Judy Smith says, hi, Tian all. Hi, Judy. Um, Cherise Risden Fofi says, hello, everyone. Probably butchered your name. So sorry. But well, welcome to the chat. And Eric says, oh, T, I got the package today. I will email you some specifics. Okay. No problem. I sent him 48 of the, I think they were straight string blocks, if I can remember, for him to put together into a quilt top. So, yes. So, that's it. I uh, just have very limited things I'm going to talk about. I am actually going to end up sitting up here on my long arm just so you can see a little bit more of the fabric panels that I'm going to show you. I'm just going to show you some. And then I realized as I was pulling out fabric panels that I did not have all of my panels in the places where they're supposed to be. And uh, so you won't be seeing all the panels that I have. I didn't start even collecting panels until like last year when I started hanging out with Debbie Huey who has been using panels for quilting. And so that's what I'm going to be talking about and not necessarily any detail about that, just to give you some ideas. And then I'm going to show you panels that I purchased just to do that so that I could play with. Um, one other announcement that I want to make before I get into that is that I have people requesting specific types of videos from me. And I do appreciate you all liking particular videos. I have people wanting me to do more quilt blocks. I have people wanting me to do more actual quilts. Um... And I know some people love the tour, the studio tour videos. Some people love the quilt shop videos. I do understand that I have a wide topic of quilting on my site. And so I'm giving you what's happening in my everyday life. I can't like skip what's happening in my everyday life just to make a special video for you because YouTube doesn't really pay me. So if somebody wants me to quilt their quilt, I have to quilt their quilt. If I have to go do a workshop, I need to go do that workshop or do that lecture so that I can get paid. That's where I really make my money. So all, everything I do on YouTube is a bonus. It's a given to you all. I don't mind doing it, but I'm sharing with you what's happening in my normal quilting life. I'm not like just creating these things just to be doing them. Even my block of the month, when I was doing those, I was using those as gill optional blocks. So they were being used. I was donating them basically because I put my name in the drawing and I never won. <laughs> and I think I have like maybe 50 to 70 uh, quilt block videos. So if you want to see me making stuff, then you've got at least 50 to 70 videos right there that you can go back and watch. So... Go back and look at some of my other videos. People ask me questions about string quilts. I've got playlists also on my site. So if you go to T-Quilts on my main page on YouTube and you click on playlist, then I've got most of my videos or have been put into playlists. So if you want to just watch all quilt shows, there's a whole playlist of every quilt show that I've gone to that I've recorded. I've got playlists for Stack and Whack. I've got playlists for string quilts playlist for how i make my quilt backing so i get a lot of these questions that i already have videos for so just try to go ahead and search my channel for what you're looking for first because it's just one of me and it takes me a while to get back through some of the comments especially when you're asking me for a specific link to somewhere so just keep that in mind I'm doing what's happening in my life, and sometimes I can't give you the content that you're looking for. I have to give you what's happening in my life. Otherwise, you don't get any video at all. So 
just keep that in mind when you're requesting particular videos from me or may not be satisfied with the videos that I'm uploading. Now, I am uploading videos that are still toward the end of April. Because I've been so busy, I have not had time to edit videos. So I'm at the end of April. The next video coming up, people have asked me for a video making a quilt. Well, it's actually making a quilt. It's actually making a rainbow quilt using AccuQuilt bow dies. So I will be uploading that next. I'm in the process of editing that video. I've been sick for almost two weeks, so you got to bear with me as well. Things happen in life. And then next week, I'm going on vacation for an entire week. Uh, so I will not be doing a whole lot next week. I will be home Wednesday to do the live next week, so I will be here. And then Friday, I'm going out of town until the following Friday. So I probably will not be doing anything, but I may pop in live and show you the beach or something okay but keep in mind that i'm putting my life what's happening in my quilt life on youtube while i sometimes will take special request videos especially when i'm when i'm low and don't have a whole lot to do right now is not one of those times i don't even have time to clean my studio so that lets you know how busy i am so let me just go back through um sherry said i called the first name right <laughs> just use that <laughs> all right sherry thank you i see risden but i will never get the last part <laughs> and eric says even in the, the kit that i sent him one of the blocks was his and christine is also reminding people to thumbs up um, Deborah says, I have a question for you. Your folded fabric, how do you keep your fabric from either getting dusty or the fold line fading? And that's because I don't really have light on my fabric. I always keep the curtains, the shades here closed so I don't get any sunlight. And even when it comes in, it doesn't come at that angle that it gets to my fabric that's over this way that you can't see right now but um and then my other that's just some of my fabric other fabrics are in closed cases and the it's not getting any fold lines also because i wrap it around a cord and as you're wrapping it the edges gets round they don't stay square so i don't have any problems with that i've had fabric in my stash since i've started quilting in 1994 sadly some stuff i got at a really good deal and i keep saying oh god i wish i'd get rid of this stuff but it still keeps popping up so i don't have any problems with that um i do have where at one point i had tape to the i had like a plastic cover covering it to keep dust off of it but i really haven't had that kind of problem i'm in and out of it so it hasn't really been a problem for me and i've had this system since 2015 i think when i retired i redid my whole area Cherie says, support yourself first. There's enough videos for us to view until you have time, do you? <laughs> Thank you, Christy. Um, and Joy says she's looking forward to seeing the rainbow quilt. <laughs> Eric say, girl, if you had time, this studio wouldn't be clean. Yeah, but it wouldn't be the mess that it is now. This room and my actual sewing room, they're both messes because every time I've been going away on trips, I just come back and I just dump the stuff because I really don't have time. And then I just start digging through it to get stuff. And I, I don't ever put stuff up. Shoot. And Eric says he's already walking to the corner. <laughs> you all right. It's the truth. But I'm trying. I want to clean it up. I want to reorganize my actual sewing room. But I haven't had a chance. And that would mean that I need to organize this room first. And then pull everything out of my sewing room. And that's what I don't have time to do. <laughs> Cherie said, just make sure your floor stays clean. That she got a needle. My husband has walked into needles and pins and he just cried like a little baby. Me, I just bend down and pull them out. <laughs> that is funny. 
Okay, so we're going to go ahead and talk about these panels. <coughs> As I was stating, the first reason to buy panels, sometimes we buy them and we cut them up or we use them for blocks and all of that. But if you're trying to practice machine quilting, then that's a great way of using a panel. And then most panels are the size of baby quilts, so you can always donate them to a charity so it's not something that you even have to keep. So I thought that I would share with you two panels that I've had since 2015 that I have not used. I bought these Skill Builder panels. Let me show you what it's called. Put it up on the screen for you. But this is the paperwork that was in a machine quilting skill builder and they have one and two it this book is a booklet that has the instructions for one and two and with it you get you can decide if you want to get the kit with both panels or just get one panel or no book you can buy the panels individually without the book i think i have bought one panel and then i went to like a quilter's garage sale and I bought this book and then a, the second skill builder panel or one of the skill builder. I can't remember which one I bought first. And so the booklet tells you how you're supposed to quilt and give you all of the various techniques for quilting. So that's the first thing. And then I wanna just come back. I'm gonna sit up here so I can show you the panels a little bit more because I'm so close to the screen. So let me see which skill builder this is. This is number two. So we'll show you one first. <clears throat> so I'll say that these are yard. You know, we always do the yard test like this. <laughs> and so it's just a little sampler quote and it has all the drawn lines on it. So I can't see what you're seeing, so I'm hoping you're seeing it. So it has all of the drawn lines on there, and then and it even has arrows telling you which direction you go, where you start, and basically where you are going to finish. So these are great if you have never machine quilted. I don't know if you wash it, if the marks will come out or not, but the people, the quilters that I've seen have them and use them, they'll use one one color thread the first time and then they'll go back over with a second thread another time and they may even quilt it a third time with a third different color thread because it's just practice and then you can also cut these up use them as kennel quilts or you can just donate them to somebody and use them as charity quilts for you know just any big dog beds you can just piece them up so this is skill builder number two more of dealing with close up on the feathers. So that is what this is. So this is actually made for practicing machine quilting. You do not have to be a long warm quilter to do this. So that's what's great about any you know buying anything with panels it's not just geared toward the long warm quilters long warm quilting just makes it so that you don't have to physically lay down and baste your quilts so let me put all of this back in the bag <clears throat> While we're talking about fabric, I just want to show this fabric from my haul video last time that I just did. And the reason why I'm showing it is because a lot of people have been asking me where to get it. I don't know where you can get it, but you can try searching YouTube and see if you can find it. It is a Timeless Treasures fabric of Soho, LLC. And it's called Kenta Dash C and the number 3979. So I'll hold that up so you can see it.
just read the salvage and then I'm gonna pull this out <laughs> okay so hopefully you got to see that I'm not sure and I can't read comments got my phone over there and I'm sitting on the long arm <clears throat> Okay, one other thing that you can probably get really cheap to machine quilt with is like those book panels that you can buy to make children's books out of. You can just get those and just practice quilting around the specific animals. You don't even have to make the book if you don't want to. Just use it as good practice. And I had to laugh when I opened up and saw this panel because I had a lot of string blocks come in with one of my tea quilters and the string blocks that had used um this balloon print so i don't know if they went together or not but it's the exact same balloon with the exact same colors so it's pretty cool and this panel it's got well i don't know what it's called let's see if i can find the cover page Bears on the Go is what it's called. And I'm sure that this is old. It's by VIP uh, Canston. Like I said, a lot, all of this has come out of my stash. Now, this one I probably had that I was just going to make the book with years ago and just never made the book. This is another one of the book ones. I'm not going to even open it up. It's probably got automobiles. A lot of fun ones would be like getting some Christmas panels. You need something quick for a wall hanging for Christmas. They have all kind of Christmas panels. And then these blocks just repeat. It's actually just two blocks that are repeating. And you have eight on this panel. This panel is Hearts, Her Side Holiday. By Debbie Strain from Moda, Moda Fabrics. I probably got this one from Hancock's or Paducah or something like that. But I'll hold the salvage up just in case. Okay. And it's not to say that you can't add anything else around the panels or make anything else with them. If you're just wanting to machine practice, make a tote bag with it, donate kennel quilts, then these are perfect for that. This is actually two panels. I have not pulled it apart. This is another one that I got from Hancock's of Paducah. It's a Christmas one. And they've got this in color as well. And this panel, let me get to the bottom. There is your salvage information. I'm hoping that it's coming across. If not, I apologize. Let me read it too. Timeless Treasure Fabrics. It's called Jolly Dash C, number 5184. <clears throat> And then I have a, a USA map. And I'm thinking that somebody must have given me this or I bought it at a yard sale or something recently because I have not had this long. Either that or it was in like those $8 bag things that I buy from that lady. And this one is from Blank Quilton Corporation. It's American Dream. It's 2017. Jean Plout, let me show you the salvage information before I open it. Hoping you can see. <laughs> I know it's moving, so sorry. <laughs> Try to read it and show it. And get your kicks on Route 66. So can you see that? Yeah. <laughs> 
So I thought like, even if I didn't use the front or use this panel, I could also use it as a quilt back if I ever do my row by row quilt. <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> the one I've been collecting a whole lot of pieces for. And I'm not gonna show you all of these panels. I will show you a couple of panels that I thought I would do like a stack and whack or a one block wonder. So this one I bought for to do a stack and whack. I needed six of these panels. So this is the panel and I needed six of them so that I could stack them and do a stack and whack. So only three came on the panel. So I, I bought two of them so that I could do a stack and whack with it. It was supposed to be for a guild challenge that I just didn't have time to get done. I think it was due last year. We were supposed to do something with a panel and I just didn't get it done. <clears throat> Fold these back up just a second. And I have one more that I wanted to do a stack and whack. And you see, this is how I actually roll my fabric. On the inside is a comic book board that's in there. You see the white? So I don't have any sharp edges because it, as I'm wrapping around, the fabric now is not um, that cardboard straight edge doesn't matter anymore because I'm wrapping a soft surface on it. So these have not been cut apart. So I don't even know how I'm going to show you this panel. Let's see, I'll unwrap a couple. And this panel I got from Hancock's of Paducah again. It's Mosaic Gardens. And it's Timeless Mosaic Gardens. And Timeless Treasure is the one that did it. And it says Mosaic-C 4658. <clears throat> and this one I thought would be really cute done with stacking whack. And I'm hoping you can see, see this. And so I bought seven panels because I felt like if I did, I wanted to do the one block wonder where you had the one panel in the middle and then the blocks formed around it. So I actually purchased eight of these because I gave Debbie one as a gift for Christmas. So, so that should be fun when I get to do that one. And then some of my other favorites, I'm skipping a few, but some of my other favorites are, um, I like African prints. I didn't pull those, but then also you've got your dream big panels. This is the dream big flowers, but I also have, I won the dream big leaves from Linda's electric quilters. And I've shown this in a haul can't remember when. I don't know if it was this year or last year that I got this. I'm assuming it was this year because this, since I've been, uh, since like, I'd say like October of 2018, any of my new panels have come except for my African panels, which I had. So this is the dream big. A lot of you have seen this and people are really utilizing this and putting different uh, quilting designs in each of the leaves. They may do a double outline to separate it from the next petal, flower petal, or leaf, whatever you want to call it. Okay, that one's on the floor. <laughs> it's uh, it's pre-printed. I got to get it. Hold on, because I got to tell you who it's by. <laughs> one of those panels that and they also make these in bed size now where you can get a giant panel but it's dream big by Hoffman and 
this is nope it's just got s number p4389 so it doesn't really have a name i thought they had a name for the panels but it just says dream big and then those that number for this panel but there are so many different panels you can get an all blue one you can get an all pink one you can get a blue that's very like variegated all to blue and you can also get the blue with the yellow in the middle so there's different panels that they have and then like a, this year they came out i think it was this year they came out with the dream big leaf panel so you can also get them and you can get them also in bed size panels and then this last one i've also showed you in a haul must have gotten it this year <clears throat> is this family tree panel or tree panel let's see what it's called hold on <laughs> i have to find the wording okay so this one is windham fabrics pattern number 50763 dp tree of wonder is what it's called and like I said, this one here, you really don't have to do anything else because they actually got the border built in as well. So this is the salvage information. I still got the price tag on this one, $17.95. I actually bought it from Fabritique booth, took it out of my wages. But it's really pretty. I love it. I love the teal color in it. It's really pretty. So this one would be really fun for quilting because like I said, with its own built-in border system, I don't even have to add anything else to it. And I think that's all I'm gonna show. <laughs> I got so many panels. <laughs> so let me check the comment section. I gotta go way back, guys. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta go back. <laughs> so a lot of people are talking about the messy stuff. <laughs> um, do the blocks in number one have quilting lines or wait a minute let me go all the way back up okay erica says eric my sewing area is the same how can you clean if you're always making stuff exactly i i hate cleaning i my mother had eight little workhorses. Um, my father was uh, sick when I was younger, so she had to keep us busy, and we cleaned everything top to bottom, still in the floor, every Saturday. And I hate cleaning. I know how to do it very well, but I hate it. <laughs> Sylvia Mayo is here. Hi, Sylvia. Don Hennis says... Where do you buy the boards for wrapping fabric and what are they called? Do they really make a difference? I have not wrapped mine in regular cardboard, but when I bought my comic book boards, that's what they are, they're comic book boards. They were like $10 for a pack of 100. So that didn't seem like a lot for me. And that's what I actually wrapped my fabric in. So I figured it was cheaper than me buying. The, and if you're talking about every piece of fabric, it's not going to happen. I think I ended up buying like 13 packages of those boards. And then I had one of my subscribers, she had some that were 11 by 17. She sent me that pack and then I didn't need any more right then. And I say right then because there's certain fabrics that are not wrapped on boards, like my Halloween fabric. 
my batiks, polka dots, lines. Um, I'm saying lines, but <laughs> yeah, like line prints, prints with lines. And then my Asian fabrics, they're all stored in my closet, which I have not been able to get to. And so I have not wrapped those fabrics, but all of my other fabrics, like my florals, my novelties, trying to think, um, landscape prints, and then all of my color prints and my Christmas prints are all wrapped onto the boards. And I used, I'm just going to guess and say maybe 1,500 boards. As my subscriber sent me 100 of the 11 by 17, and I just cut those in half because they were too big to use. They are a little smaller than my others, other ones, but I use them anyway. Um, where do you buy them? I bought my boards on Amazon. Shakita Pearson is here. Hi, Shakita. <laughs> she says, my sewing room is a war zone. My family knows to stay out. <laughs> I try to tell my husband not to come in there because every time he comes in, he steps on a pin or he knocks something off the desk or, you know, something. And I'm like, just stay out. <laughs> I'll bring it to you when I want you to see it. And Joyce, you're right. I do get them off of Amazon. And like I said, I bought all of mine in 2015. And this is what I've learned about Amazon. When somebody give you a link to Amazon, like when I put that video up, I probably had a link to where I bought. And then once they see a lot of people coming in to purchase, then the prices will go up. So if something is being bought a lot, then those prices will increase. So it might be one price today and then it'll be a different price tomorrow. Mrs. J.A. Coleman is here. Welcome to the chat. Linda DeVito is here from Walkaway, New York, New Jersey. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, do the blocks in number one, this is Erica, have quilting lines or just the borders? Um... I think, I don't know if you're talking about these. They all have quilting lines. Or if she's talking about, see, the, then the next thing I show was panels. So the panels are set up like that for you to put into a book. But I'm thinking she's talking about this. And all of the lines are there for you to stitch on. Even the outline of what's considered to be the quilt top center. Um, June says, I have that panel. I put them on my scanner and use them as practice sheets. That's a good idea as well. Some of them are too big to go on my printer. I don't have a large size printer. Eric says, I clean my sewing room and I can't find anything. I leave it messy and I still can't find anything. <laughs> I find more when my room is messy than when it's clean, actually. And I still see people are commenting about the boards. I've already answered about where they are. And then I've got Don that says, oh, my goodness, how neat. How do we find them online? I've told you that they're on Amazon. They're uh, comic book boards. And they are asset free. Not that it made a difference for me, but I didn't order. I didn't buy regular cardboard just because at the time I felt like 100 boards for a uh, uh, $10 was a great deal. And then I have Amazon Prime. And even with the weight, I wasn't paying shipping for that. Um, and I like that when I'm wanting to get a stack of fabrics, like I don't really wrap my panels. The only reason that this is wrapped is because I had a lot of panels. But let me go get a stack of fabric for you. <clears throat> Thank you. 
So I've got a stack of prints here and I happened to get a good stack that had the short boards on it as well as the full size boards. So I like that they sit flat. You see that I can hold it in one hand and it's not going to topple over. And I found when I just folded my fabric up and put it on the shelves, they always unfold it. They always stay. I do have pins in them. I haven't had a problem with anything rusting. I don't have high moisture in my area. You can also get the fabric clips like they use in the store. You can also use stuff that you can use for clothing. The, those plastic kind that you put on t uh, shirts, men's shirts. So let me show you the difference of one full size board and then one board that I cut in half. So this is the difference in the boards. So they're the same height because I still had 11 inches, but because I had to cut this 17 board in half, then it didn't give me the eight, the nine inches that came out here on the comic board. Cause I think the comic boards are a little bit white, bigger than paper so that it can cover your comic board. So, but I, I intermingle those even into different stacks and they still seem to work very well for me. So, nice thing is when I'm looking for fabrics to use in my projects, it's easy for me to pull off a stack, look at it, pull out what I want, and then I can just take this stack and put it right back in. Whereas when I had my folded fabric and I was looking at stacks of fabrics, Stuff wouldn't be folded back right. I would get frustrated because all I really want to do is sew. Now that I don't have just loose fabric hanging out, everything is contained, nothing is going to unwrap itself, it's easier for me to pick fabrics from my project. And I actually use my stash a whole lot more. There were times that I'm, I had so much fabric crammed in, on a shelf that when I needed one, one yard of something, I would just go to the fabric store and just buy a yard of fabric because I didn't want to be bothered with the uh, fabric stash. Now I don't do that anymore. And like I said, this system has been set up since 2015. So I have been using it for four years almost and it's working very well for me. So let me put this back. Sorry guys, I'm still having coughing issues and my voice isn't back right yet. So, I'm trying to go back to where I left off. Every time I put my phone down, it rotates, it starts back. It goes to the bottom comments. can't remember where I were. I'm still trying to find them. So, and uh, Kelly says that she goes with the messy theory. <laughs> Got Arlise Mitchell here. She says, hi, Tian, everyone. Hi, welcome. Diana saying, awesome print. Of course, I don't know which prints you all are talking about because that was like a long time ago. Uh, Cherie says, that's some nice fabric. I love colorful prints. That's cool fabric. Uh, Diane saying, can you put info, fabric info? I'm not going to type all of this fabric info because as soon as I get off of this screen, I'm going to put that fabric up. I've told you everything and I've read it. So uh, that's what you have to work with on this. I'm sorry, but I am not going to sit and type all of that because then I'll have to look at this video <laughs> and see which ones that I actually showed you all and then type those in. And till one, I don't have that kind of time. <laughs> And Linda says, feel better, T. Take care of yourself. Thank you so much. A lot of people are saying beautiful fabric. I'm just passing some of those up. Um, 
Don Cunningham's here. Say, hey, everybody. Just got back from eating out with family. Husband's birthday. Happy birthday to him. Oh, and Diane was saying they couldn't read the salvage, but I did read everything that was on them. I see still got people asking. Eric's asking. Diane's asking. I'm sorry. I did read them all. So that's the best that I can do right now. I am actually like going backwards. I actually started quilting a quilt that I quilted my sample on and everything was quilting fine. And then I start quilting on the quilt. It started out quilting fine in some places and in other places. My backing is all screwed up and I didn't know it because I thought everything was fine. It was a colorful back and I couldn't see it. So I'm actually pulling out three rows of pantos from a full-size quilt. So I spent eight hours pulling out one row. So I got like two or three more days of all day. That's all I'm going to be doing is pulling out stitches. I started yesterday at 7 p.m. and went to 4 o'clock this morning and only did one row of unsewing on that quilt. I don't know. Um, Joyce says she feels like begging for the Christmas print. <laughs> um, Cherie says the $8 bag thing. Hey, I want one. <laughs> well, I, you know, whenever those come up, I get them. She doesn't have them all the time. People, Erica loves the map panel. And Don is asking if I was on last Wednesday. No, I was not. I was actually sick and still am a little sick. Cherie says, I got some Marvel comic panels from Walmart. Can you believe that they're are thinking about getting rid of the fabric section? What's up with that? People love the Mosaic Gardens. Rhonda Barlow wants to know what is stacking whack. Trivia Henderson wants to know what is stacking whack. If you go to my YouTube channel, <laughs> put in, go to, or just go to YouTube and put in T-Quill stacking whack. I have a playlist as if you're on my actual homepage. That's for stacking whack. It explains everything, but it makes like kaleidoscopes type blocks. Some people call them um, kaleidoscope blocks. Some people call them one block wonders. And the Bethany Reynolds came up with the term stacking wax. So that's what I call it. The dream panel is amazing. And I've seen some awesome quilting on those by just all different types of quilters. And there are some quilters that have quilted like maybe... Like, they quilt them for customers, and then that's all they quilt. And they said it could take them, like, two weeks to quilt one dream big panel. And Don says she has a dream big panel that she hasn't quilted yet. I, I wasn't, like, really into it because everybody else had it. And then I was like, maybe you should go ahead and just get one. And then you'll have it if you quilt it, you do. And if you don't, you don't. But at least I'll have the opportunity because I wasn't sure if they were going to keep printing it. And then it'll be too late to get one. And then they also now have come out with the leaves. So, you know, they had to go to another spot to make more money with that type of stuff. But there's a lot of uh, companies out there that are printing like bed size panels. And Eric, there was a uh, quilt that we saw at the Houston Quilt Show in November that Eric showed me. And it was beautiful. It's in that video, but it's a panel. And it won. <laughs> it won. I can't remember what place it won, but it actually won a ribbon.
And then Christine says that Diane says it's a great idea to use as tablecloths. That's nice. Say, T, that would be a nice tablecloth. I'm thinking she's talking about the Dream Big panel. So that's a good idea, too. I'm trying to make sure. Okay. <laughs> I just saw Eric's comment about did she go out? So I've been here. I'm okay. <laughs> I had to watch my picture to make sure I move. <laughs> and Judy Judy says, we're quilters, not cleaners. Done enough dishes to wrap around America. That's Diane57, who's been cleaning since she's six years old. Uh, June's says i have also but hate my house dirty i clean once a week usually on saturdays and that's when i normally clean if i don't have anything else going on on saturdays i'll clean and now that i've been so busy i basically just been cleaning my kitchen and my bathroom for the most part changing the sheets on my bed okay <laughs> the other stuff is like i pick up as i need to pick it up especially in my sewing areas and uh sharice says yep i remember cleaning remember saturday cleaning when we were finished it was time for soul train later in the afternoon was food shopping yeah those were the days yes and we also grocery shopped on saturdays um And Erica was talking about the skill builder panels. Deborah says, Joanne's gives their empty fabric boards away. I got some and have cut them in half to fold fabric on. And that's another great idea. I just didn't, because I, I had a lot of fabric boards that I actually got rid of. And I just didn't keep them because of the thickness. I just wanted some, I just wanted my fabric, but I wanted my fabric controlled. And if I had done the thickness, I would have needed a lot more storage than what I already have. Diane says, T, I want a t-shirt that says, I'm a quilter, not a cleaner. <laughs> you know you funny. You're going to have to email me because you know I'm going to forget, right? And you got to let me know what size and what color shirt and what color letters and all of that, right? <laughs> so email me whatever your request is. Don says, what's the largest piece of fabric you wrap on boards and the smallest? The smallest that I wrap on boards is a half yard. Otherwise, I put it in my scrap containers. I also have scrap bins that are stored by color. And then if as long as it's more than a, a half yard or more, then I will wrap it onto the board. And the reason why I picked a half yard is because I have a lot of scraps. So I wanted to make sure that I actually use my scraps first and then I go to my fabric on the bolt on the boards later sometimes when i'm making something scrappy say i don't have enough like the orange scraps and then i will go to my orange section and just pull out orange and i may just cut 10 to 12 inches off of the bolts that i want so therefore i'm using my scraps first my true scraps and then i'm using the yardage Organized chaos. That's right, Diane57. I'm going to make that as a poster for my sewing room. I'm a quilter, not a cleaner. <laughs> Eric says, I'm a sewer, not a ripper. Yeah, I'm a sewer, and then I quilted this quilt, and I have never used my same ripper in so much in my life, and I'm just, like, dreading it. I did that one row, and I'm like, I just can't believe I spent eight hours unpicking one row of a panto one line of a panto that i i quilted in like 25 minutes yeah and it's because the stitching is good so it's not like i've got a straight string at the bobbin that i can pull it up the stitching is good it's just that uh, i used the variegated thread with bottom line and it did not want it just was not cooperating on the back every once in a while i have a hanging thread like a hanging chad i had a hanging thread and it drove me nuts. And so I'm taking it all apart. And I think I'm going to just use 
variegated in both the top and the bobbin so that my customer it's a customer quilt and they want a variegated thread so i'm trying to accommodate that so however it quilts up when i put it in the top and bobbin is how it's going to be because i'm sure that that bobbin thread being a little thicker is going to be a different tension as well so i'll get it as close as i can but that's the best i can do i hate ripping got my brother here his name ray he says i'm here now sis and i thumbs up thumb you up already thank you so much appreciate that Cherie says, my kids complain about my area all the time, but then I ask them whose name is on the deed. <laughs> That's funny. Bonita Nancy's here, says, hi, guys. I'm so late. She's been working. Welcome so much. I got a package from you this month. I'll do a video uploaded um, for my mail call video. Thank you so much, Bonita. I appreciate that. You had You were so generous with that. It was just awesome. It was it was really a great early birthday present. Thank you so much. Uh, Sherry says, I can stand mine up vertical and pull out what, what one I want. I didn't have the storage space to put mine upright so that they would be like bookends. Mine's did better stacked flat and then I've got like two stacks on the shelf. <clears throat> Erica says, I recently, I did recently organize my fabric drawers, Marie Kondo style. I have not started using fabric yet, but it's pretty to look at. Yes, it is. When you get your fabric all pretty, uh, it's awesome. If you can get your fabric in order, you'll really love quilting and having your stash. Elaine Dosette is here. She says, laughing out loud, T, you are adorable. Buy another yard because you can reach the one you have because you can't reach the one you have is what I think she meant to say. But that's right. I felt like it was going to be too much work. I, I can go to the fabric store and go buy one yard. Sharice <laughs> um, uh, says that she tried the Marie Kondo uh, organization system. She said... I still messed it up looking for a piece of fabric. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> my son told me to take pictures of my fabric, and then I won't mess up all my stash. I might listen to the millennial. And in one of my uh, quilt studio videos, Francesca, I think she's still here, she had photos of the of fabric that was even inside of her clear container she had a picture of it outside and she had set all the bolts up in a row and then she took a picture and then she put that picture on the outside of the container i thought that was pretty cool Oh, they said that the lights were glaring off the salvages when I was trying to show them. That's why they couldn't see it. And that panel that I was talking about, I'm just stating this because Eric's got the information. He said it's the Honest Company, and the panel is called Royal Huntress by Carly Porter. Her quilt won second place. Thank you, Eric. I couldn't remember all the details, but it was it's a beautiful panel. And then when she quilted it up, that panel looked like it had been pieced and appliqued. It was awesome. And Diane was talking about the tree panel. Yeah, I like that one. That was one of my favorite ones. I have some fabric boards, but hate to use them. I would rather use my clear bins. <clears throat> Trivia is saying, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And Sandra Cubbins is here. We over 8 o'clock. I didn't even realize we were over 8. I've got a lot of comments, so thank you all. Uh, Peggy Connor says, I'll help you rip out on Friday. I'm good at ripping out threads. Don't ask how I got so good laughing out loud. <laughs> okay, we'll see. 
I'm hoping I'm going to rip all night tonight. When I get off of this channel, I'm going to go prop myself up in bed. I've been looking at Amazon Prime and I'm watching. Oh, my gosh. Just had a brain freeze. The Masterpiece on PBS, but Prime, uh, they have it. It's the... <laughs> Oh, my God. How have I been sitting up here watching Downton Abbey? <laughs> okay, it's there now. Downton, Downton Abbey. I'm actually watching it on Amazon Prime, and I'm just letting it roll from one series to the next. So that's how I got through last night. I'm on series two, so I'm going to go back and continue watching that and see how long I stay up as I watch and rip. So that's what I'm doing. Me and my iPad are best friends right now. So if I, if I don't have it out on Friday, I'll see if I can take some help. But I hate it. I hate ripping, and I have never ripped so much in my life. June Billing says, was a shame that I have stuff all over the place, but not now, because you all are like me. Great minds, huh? Yeah, we all got stuff. And we all start out like, even if we start out on our... Uh, kitchen table or a dining table we think okay we can just put the machine in the closet we have a couple of bins of fabric and supplies and we think that's all we'll never need more space for quilting and then as we keep going and going we get more supplies more tools and then we want a design wall and you know it just goes on and on and on so we it just grows when i moved into this house i had so much space in this house and it is a small house, so don't get me wrong. It is a very small house. But I had more space in this house. I moved from an apartment. And now I have nothing. I don't need to bring another thing in here, but my brain doesn't recognize that yet. Just terrible. And let's see. Diane says, creative minds don't have time to clean. And Bonita, Bonita says, you're so welcome. You do so much for me. Oh, you're so, you're so kind. You really are nice. When I got that package, I was like, oh, my gosh. And I did go, I used the gift thing, too. So I would just add a picture of what I actually got. It came this week. Um, Diane says, next time I will take a screenshot. And you can also do that on any videos that I have. You can pause the screen and then take a screenshot with your computer. You can always do that, even your phones. And Diane says, T, you need to rest. I know I need to rest, but I got to take these stitches out too. And it's a customer's quilt. And I don't have it in here because I have it in my bedroom. I'm actually propped up in bed working on it since I'm not feeling the greatest and then but I've been doing really good the last couple of days I haven't been as bad <laughs> and then Don says too bad it's a customer quote otherwise it could magically disappear you're so right because I was like and the funny thing is it's one of my YouTube subscribers and it's her very first quilt she did a millifori quilt so it's all hand pieced and it is just awesome that she was able to do that as her first quote. And it is gorgeous. It is just beautiful. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Got some trash or something in my mouth. I think I ate pecans before I came on here. I ate a handful of pecans. June Hansen says, my storm room is not clean. I try, but all I do is make a bigger mess. Need to make a crazy quilt and get rid of some. Yeah, just sew stuff up and get rid of it. Or just cut them out into large size squares, whatever size they are, if you just want to get rid of stuff. And just piece plain squares. You don't have to make anything super fancy. You can make, you know, a usable quilt. Be nice for charities, nice for home, nice for picnics. So every quilt doesn't have to be a fancy quilt. And uh, Cherie says, I'm watching Handmaid's Tale. So addicting. Okay, I'm going to have to look that up. <laughs> I'm going to write that down because I don't know how much time I'm going to be ripping and how many sh shows I'm going to go through. So Handmaid's Tales. 
Handmaid's Tale. Tale. Okay, I got that down. And then another one that I watch on Amazon Prime is Sneaky Pete. It's a, it's crazy, but I like it. I don't know if anybody else has watched Sneaky Pete. I just watched the whole third season of it. And Cherie says she watched Pole Dark on Masterpiece 2. Okay. So I have to write. I'm just writing down stuff. And I have seen all of Downton Abbey when it was on PBS, when I saw it, like, you know, week by week. But it's really nice to binge watch it all and then to see, like, some of the stuff I may have missed. Because every time I'm watching television, I'm normally doing something sewing related. So, yeah. And she says it's called binge watching. <laughs> Didn't T say she wants an industrial machine? I plan to get an industrial machine someday. I don't have one yet and don't have anywhere to put it yet. But I would like to get an industrial machine. Trey says, I am just collecting fabric yardage and pre-cuts from 2008 to now. And it does get out of control quickly. I'm surprised at what I've accumulated in one year. Thanks for the clear tote idea. And then Diane says, I think it grows every time you sew it. That's exactly true. I think my scraps hardly ever go anywhere. Oh, she says Handmaid's Tales is on Hulu. I don't have that, so let me scratch it because I'll be on Amazon Prime trying to find it, child. <laughs> let me try. Hey, somebody watch a sneaky Pete. Hey, Bonita. <laughs> It's a crazy show, but it's like the first season, I'm thinking, they can only do this for one season. It's got to be just a one season thing here, but they're on their season three, and it's still good, and it ended like it could be the end of the show, sort of, kind of, but, you know, I think they're going to come up with a whole new adventure for season four, so I love Sneaky Pete. And she says that uh, Handmaid's Tale is like dark drama, but I remember reading the book. Okay. <laughs> Eric is a mess. Scraps are like roaches. You try to get rid of them, but they keep coming back. <laughs> that is terrible. <laughs> gosh eric you a mess <laughs> oh my goodness well i got my endorphins running i've been trying to hold them down for the longest but you all are so funny again i'm just gonna go ahead and end this chat a reminder to holly s that you got till friday to let me know what it is that where you want me to send your package to email me and um what else oh and i'm gonna uh I'm, i need to work on editing this video i had started i had done like a third of the video editing on the accuquilt rainbow quilt because it's going to be a long video and i'm hoping that it uploads i've been having difficulties with my internet service uploading my videos and it makes no sense because then all of a sudden it just uploaded everything when i told it to upload stuff before so so i'm trying to get you all things again i will be back to probably not having any content and then i can take some special requests but right now i like i said i'm still working on videos from uh, the end of April and beginning of May is when I did the rainbow quilt. So we were getting closer <laughs> to getting up to date. But when I had the problems trying to upload all the quilt show videos, that was like a whole entire week that I spent trying to upload that video. First, it was an hour and a half video. And then I broke it down into two parts and it still wouldn't work. So then I broke it down into three parts. And every time I edit a video i've got to reproduce the video before i can upload the video so it's a whole process with that so 
just I'm trying to do what I can. I am doing the best that I can right now. Remember, it's just one of me. Nobody in my family, not my husband, not my daughter, nobody assist me with my YouTube or quilting. No friends, no family. It's just me. So I can only do what I can do. And then if I get sick or if I've got work that's paying me, those things, you know, will come first. So just bear with me. I will do what I can for you guys. I know you all like it. Um, uh, in a, probably next year, I will be starting a Patreon page because a lot of stuff that I will be putting out, I am going to put on Patreon. I just tried not to do it in the middle of a year, but that's going to be something new for next year as well. And then a lot of my videos, I, if I, you know, can get paid for a video some kind of way, be it a dollar or something for the video, then maybe I can you know, dedicate more time to doing a video over trying to decide what where I'm going to spend my time this week. Because to record a video, I have to first use the products to make that video. So I'm using my fabric, I'm using my time. And then I have, it takes me longer to do because I'm recording. And YouTube doesn't pay me that kind of money back. So it takes a lot. So that's not going to be my priority. But on my, if I do a Patreon thing then that would become a priority at that point so i'm still trying to get to 10,000 subscribers i'm getting close so please share my youtube page with your friends ask them to subscribe to my channel i'm still getting new people every day saying that they didn't know i was on youtube they just happened to fall into one of the videos on a subject that they were looking for and then they found my page Maybe just share my quilt block playlist somewhere if you can. Some groups you can't share uh, YouTube channels or you can't share any links. But if you can share links in any of your groups, I ask you to go ahead and please do that for me. I would appreciate it. Just trying to get to that 10,000 mark. So thank you all so much. And I will see you all next week. I have to be better by next week because I'm going out of town. So I'm religiously taking my meds and everything to make sure that I am better when I go out of town. So go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. I do see, Deborah says 43 and only 19 likes. I do see where I have 43 likes up there. So people are hitting it. Uh, it's just got to be refreshed. So I appreciate you all. I would most definitely all see you all next Wednesday. Take care and happy quilting, everybody. Bye, tea quilters.